We've all had a buy pain at some point in our lives and then been left with extra paint. But what's the right way to discard it and where does it end up? Unfortunately, many gallons of paint end up in landfills, blue waterways, and increased risk to human health. But did you know that my leftover paint in this can that I used and your leftover paint can be combined and made into a new can of fresh paint? One company is collecting and repurposing used paint into brand new paint with a brush of fresh colors. But how? How is paint contributing to the climate crisis? How is this new paint made? And how does that process help our environment? To find the answers, we'll talk to a group that's upcycling all of this into this. This is Dustin Martin, and he's on a mission to divert paint from destroying the environment and put unused paint to better use. Paint itself isn't necessarily bad when it's used properly. The, the problem is that um, intrinsic to every paint project, we always have to buy a little bit more, right? In 2020, Dustin founded Up Paint, a Detroit-based company that specializes in sustainable earth kind paint. He partnered with paint recycling pioneer Green Sheen to create what it calls a circular paint economy. So how does leftover paint become new paint? To begin the process, some retailers provide a drop-off bin specifically for consumers to drop off their partially used latex paint or mistints for manufacturing companies. When a bin is full, Green Sheen picks it up and brings it back to its closest paint rescue location, which exists in Washington, Arizona, New York, and Colorado. Once in the processing facility, the lids are removed and the paint is inspected to verify it's still liquid and usable. Next, the paint is separated by color and filtered three times to remove any solid bits or impurities so that they are left with creamy, silky smooth paint. Additives are then put in to bring it to specific viscosity and pH levels are tested. Finally, the tint color is changed to a target color and it's filtered again into high quality latex paint. The paint is canned into one quart, one gallon, and five gallon paint cans and then it's ready to be sold online and in retail chains. The process takes about two weeks and up paint currently has 18 different colors in its line. So how does recycled paint hold up when compared to new paint from the store? Dustin said it's the same and that the misconception that recycled products are lower quality than the original needs to go. The analogy I like to use is, you know, years ago you wouldn't see recycled paper, but now in almost every paper product that you buy, it's, it's either 100% recycled or some large percent of it is recycled. And it's no lesser quality than a virgin paper. It's just as good. And the same is true with up paint. One gallon of up paint retails at just $39.99. We've had it third party tested. It was very important for us to find out exactly the quality of the paint. So when we had it tested, the equivalency is really around a $60 gallon of paint. That's the, the quality of it. And we're able to retail it for much lower than that, obviously because we're using uh, upcycle content. So why is this mission important to UpPaint? With an art background himself, Dustin says that over the years there's been more public awareness of issues related to paint, such as containing toxic chemicals, ending up in landfills, and contaminating groundwater. So being creative, you know, selling paint products brings definitely interests me. But then, you know, add on top of that the ability to actually do good, do good by the environment, do good by the community, and recycle paint and have it be such a wonderful, amazing product. It just checked a lot of boxes for me. So that's really what's gotten me excited about this. U.S. consumers purchase an estimated 850 million gallons of paint annually, with an estimated 10% of that paint going unused. That means an estimated 85 million gallons of paint could be destined to end up in landfills every year in the U.S. alone. Leftover paint is also costly to local governments. It makes up the largest volume of waste collected by household hazardous waste programs, and it costs local governments more than $8 per gallon to manage leftover paint. Dustin told us that currently 10 states have provided funding for drop-off locations that ensure that unused paint doesn't end up in landfills and seep into the environment. And it's those types of programs that UpPaint uses to gather paint for upcycling. Paint can also contain volatile organic compounds, VOCs, a class of chemicals that evaporate at room temperature and can cause health issues like eye irritation, kidney and nervous system damage, and cancer. Paint that is improperly disposed of risks these VOCs contaminating ground and drinking water. Resin, a binder that holds pigment particles, is expensive and sometimes scarce. The COVID-19 pandemic, hurricane season, and winter storms have led to delays and shortages of resin needed to make paint. And since UpPaint upcycles paint that's already been produced, it's a big help in keeping paint on the shelves when there are shortages and supply chain issues like these. 
To do their part in solving these problems, Uppaint has a goal to rescue 2 million gallons of paint by the end of 2022. Since its inception, its partner Green Sheen has already collected and processed 6 million gallons and is currently processing 25,000 gallons per week. In the near future, the company hopes to open multiple mini processing centers that would reduce costs and CO2 emissions of transporting all the paint collected. What we'd like to do is create a closed loop supply chain so that we're collecting from retail uh, locations where customers shop and then we're processing that paint and then reselling it back to that retail center. So that would create a very tight-knit, closed um, supply chain loop that would work really, really well. Upaint believes that it can revolutionize the industry by its process and distribution. If you care about the environment, if you care about your community, you should care about recycling and upcy uh, upcycling. And it's really important for people to participate because it really takes all of us to make the system work. Want to help? Dustin says to visit the company's website at uppaint.com where there's a directory to find out where your local drop-off site is located. It doesn't matter if you're in a paint care state or a non-paint care state. Anyone interested in participating can contact Uppaint on its website. If you're in one of the 40 states that doesn't currently have laws to properly deal with leftover paint, you can reach out to your congressperson and encourage paint programs in your area. And the next time you're on the market, ask your local paint store if it collects unused paint. If it doesn't, then ask why not. So what do you think? Have you ever tossed your filled paint cans? What steps can you change in your painting routine? And how will you contribute to proper recycling? Let us know in the comments below.